The Spirit made clear to me that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is uniquely empowered and commissioned to accomplish the necessary preparations for the Lord's second coming. Indeed, it was restored for that purpose. When He comes, oppression and injustice will not only diminish, they will cease. Poverty and suffering will not only decline, they will vanish. What can we do to prepare now for that day? First and crucial for the Lord's return is the presence on the earth of a people prepared to receive Him at His coming. We can prepare ourselves as a people. We can gather the Lord's covenant people, and we can help redeem the promise of salvation made to the fathers, our ancestors. We build up Zion in our homes, wards, branches, and stakes through unity, godliness, and charity. An underlying effort in building Zion is the gathering of the Lord's long-dispersed covenant people. We believe in the literal gathering of Israel and in the restoration of the Ten Tribes. All who will repent, believe on Christ, and be baptized are His covenant people. The gathering of Israel is the most important thing taking place on earth today. Nothing else compares in magnitude. Nothing else compares in importance. Nothing else compares in majesty. And if you choose to, you can be a big part of it. While we strive to be diligent in building up Zion, including our part in the gathering of the Lord's elect and the redemption of the dead, we should pause to remember that it is the Lord's work, and He is doing it. He is the Lord of the vineyard, and we are His servants. If you don't find here a community intent on accomplishing what needs to be accomplished for both the living and the dead to prepare for that day, if you don't find here an organization willing to commit vast amounts of time and funds to the gathering and preparation of a covenant people ready to receive the Lord, you won't find it anywhere.